What up, y'all? It's your boy, Martin. How's it going? I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everybody is blessed. Anyway, y'all, so before I get into this video, I want you guys to know that this is not a boxing video. My channel is predominantly a boxing channel, right? This is not. I get comments sometimes talking about, I thought this was a boxing channel. I thought it was this. Listen, predominantly, most of the time, it's a boxing channel. But when other topics that I like talking about are up in the air as well, I'm going to speak on them. So just a heads up, you're welcome to stay. It's just not a boxing video right now. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about, yo, and I'm a little late on it, but I know by now everybody knows who's into what's going on. Vivek Ramazwamy, I believe that's how you say the guy's name, has dropped out of the race to endorse Donald Trump. Mr. Number 47. Now, when I first heard the news about this, I was taken off guard. I, I did not expect that. Vivek Ramaswamy has never had nothing bad to say against Donald Trump, right? But I just didn't expect him to just completely drop out and endorse Trump. It reminds me of back when Hillary dropped out of the race to endorse Barack Obama, right? I don't know if it was tactical. I don't know what it was. But it, it was so good to see that. You know, I almost feel like Vivek Ramaswamy was never going to try to run for president this time around. I think he was there just to undermine uh, Ron DeSantis, who I love Ron DeSantis. I think he's a great governor. I think one day he will be a great president, God willing. Anyway, there's a couple of things, though. Guys, we have got to wake up. We have got to wake up in this country. Listen. I'm a single dad of four kids. I got a pretty decent job. But these past four years that we got the current president in office with all the things that's been going on with inflation, with the open borders, with crime, yo, it is insane. It is crazy. We are losing our country is what's going on. Now, you might be saying, how are we losing our country? Our country is right here. Our country is this. Our country is that. Listen, no country in the world is perfect. No country. But damn it, America is great. And it's time to make the country great again. There was one line that Vivek Ramaswamy said that was just, I mean, golden. It, it was fire. I'm thinking about putting it on a T-shirt. I've never heard it said, but it makes so much sense. Now, listen, the man said, we have been so caught up celebrating diversity and what makes us different that we forget to celebrate what ties us together and what makes us the same as Americans. Listen, we are Americans here. It doesn't, don't add any other ethnicity to it. If you were born in this country, you might be of descent of somewhere else, but you are an American, right? You are an American. You are viewed as an American. Forget your color. This is our country. This is the country we love. We love our freedoms. We love the opportunity. We love our God-given freedoms and our Judeo-Christian values. We have got to keep those because the second we lose all of those things, we lose our country. We see it going on now. It is crazy what is going on. And I'm asking everybody, yo, listen, stop listening to celebrities and influencers that don't live the same life as you do. I'm going to take y'all back. Do y'all remember 2020 talking about taxing the rich, do this, do that? None of it got done. None of it got done, right? Y'all let rich, rich, rich celebrities that live in a whole different world, they don't abide by our laws, they got it totally different. We allow them to influence us, the American people, on who to vote for as if we live in the same place, as if we live the same life. We do not. We do not, right? It is time to put America first again, y'all. And I'm asking you guys, do your homework. Don't vote emotionally, right? When you're sitting there thinking to yourself, if I vote this way, this way or look, even look into voting the other way, my homies is not going to look at me the same way, right? I'm going to be going against what my favorite influencer, celebrity, rapper, whatever is telling me to do right now. It does not matter, y'all. Listen, I got four kids. I got four kids and I am very concerned about a lot of things in this country. Our open borders, one, our schooling system, me being able to just provide for my kids. Yo, listen, I work a full time job and jobs on the side, something I didn't have to always do just to make ends meet. Now, listen, 
God said that look at the sparrows in the air. Not one of them drops dead because they're hungry or because they starve to death. And I have my faith in God. I know God will provide. However, if it's in our power to vote a certain way to make sure that things get done, let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. Yo, I'm telling you, men and women, fellas with the kids, we want to raise our kids to be righteous men. We don't want to send our kids to school so they could confuse them talking about how many genders there is, talking about racism, talking about trans reading to children. That is not America. That should be no country in the world. That is sick. It is time to take our country back, guys. It is time to make America great once again. Do not vote with your emotions. Vote logically. Look at the candidates. Look at what their policies mean on the beginning and on the back end. Because right now, the middle class is getting screwed up, down, and all around. And they're trying to do away with us. They're trying to do away with the middle class because then you turn it into a third world, con- third world country where you got poor and where you got rich. We cannot go that route. We cannot allow America to go that route. Push all that racism junk that they push in your head to the side. Everything that's de- separating us, push it to the side. Listen, the words of Jesus, a kingdom divided against itself cannot and will not stand. OK, America is a strong country. That is why from the inside out, they try to divide us. Stop listening to your favorite influencers and celebrity, yo. Think logically. Follow the truth. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think, yo. And I'm going to leave it at this. God bless you. God bless America. Trump 2024, yo. Peace.